for free real scalar field uh, with a Klein cordon Lagrangian. We could solve the path integral as it took the form of a Gaussian integral. With the effective action, where d is a propagator as it propagates a disturbance of the field from the um, space-time position x to y. This is therefore a very important object in quantum field theory. Here this is a free propagator because we started with a Lagrangian uh, which has no interaction, so that's a free Lagrangian, the klein gordon Lagrangian for real scalar fields. We also found an equation for the free propagator. I will now give you the expression for the free propagator and we will verify that it is a solution to this equation. I have introduced a small imaginary contribution to the denominator, so epsilon is infinitely small, so that there is never a division by zero, because we have an integral over uh, k, and k squared and minus m squared could be uh, equal to zero. However, uh, because we have i epsilon, we will never hit zero, and this integral is well defined. However, um, the physics doesn't depend on epsilon, so every calculation which ends up in a physical observable should be independent on epsilon. That is, the limit where epsilon goes to zero is always well defined. We will now verify that uh, this expression for the propagator is solution of this equation. First, we notice that the uh, uh, derivative only acts on the space-time position, uh, which only appears in the numerator um, as part of the exponential. So let's first calculate del squared of exponential i k x. Note that I had to use different dummy variables, mu and nu. In fact, if you have more than twice the same Greek letter, it's likely that you have done a mistake. By definition, the derivative with an upper index is the derivative with respect to x mu with a lower index. The derivative of um, x nu with respect to x mu will give 1 only when mu is equal to nu and 0 otherwise, so it's a Kronecker delta. We now do the same thing, but notice that we have a lower index for the derivative. Earlier I chose a lower index for x and an upper index for k, but I can do the opposite for convenience as well. So at the end I get the same result as what I would have got if k and x uh, were not four vectors but just simple quantities. From now on we will use this result uh, without showing it again. So whenever we have a del square exponential i k x, that brings down a minus k squared in front of the exponential. Whenever we have a del mu with an upper or lower index, that will bring down an i k mu with the same index. We can now verify that this is the correct expression for the propagator. I can now take the limit of epsilon goes to zero because I have a division of the same quantity in the um, numerator and in the denominator. This is the Fourier transform of a constant, in this case the constant is one, and that gives us a delta function. We got uh, the same right hand side as our initial equation, therefore we have verified that uh, the expression for our propagator is a solution for this equation.